Well, I must say, uh, Henry James talked about the dauntless decency of the British people. They were all quite remarkable. I mean, my best friends didn't speak to me, uh, hardly. They couldn't. It's like going into a member's club, I mean... An all-male club, is it? All-male club. And I was very conscious of that, so I'd stay in the house and I wouldn't hang around in the lobby. I didn't go into the writing room. I had a little room of my own and I stayed in the house and then I went down into my room. Did you try to exploit the fact that you were a woman? For heaven's sakes, no. That was so obvious. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was so obvious. But I really f felt, and this is important, women had died for the vote. Mrs. Pankhurst and that woman who threw herself before the thing. And I, wa and I, I realized that I was there because of what they'd done. And that gave me great courage and a great feeling of sort of dedication to the woman's cause. How long did the prejudice against you and other women MPs go on? I think it's still going on, I don't, but I'm not certain. <laughs> there aren't too many women MPs in the House, even today, after all those years. Do you think, looking back, that it's been worth it, all this struggle? What, have, what has the woman's vote done? Well, I'd people? like to give you a figure, could you? I'll just read it to you, because you've got to know. Please do. Yes. In the 12 years before woman's suffrage, only four acts were passed directly concerning women. Small increase in property rights, training of midwives, qualification for county council, and affiliation orders for wives. In 12 years after, there were 28 acts passed. I won't read them to oh, you. But apart from all that, do you think, and apart from your own very distinguished and exceptional career, do you think, looking back, that women are as suited mentally to public life as men? In many ways, I think they're more suited because they're not so easily, uh, they're, they're not so easily flattered as men are. I guarantee any woman can get any man if she's got enough flattery. A lot of men say women are emotionally rather sort of unstable and that their judgment, therefore, is a bit subjective. I don't believe one word of that. And I know you can get any man, and I'll tell you how. Would you like to know? Tell me more about yourself, and off they go. What do you think of the future of women in politics, then? Well, I think it's as good as the future of men.